Hello friends, so today we can show you how to connect our AKS cluster. So earlier video I have explained you how to create the AKS cluster and how do in this session we have to show you how to connect this AKS cluster and how to deploy the application pod. First I will explain you how to connect this AKS cluster. So we have to create the one jump box. So for that jump box, we have to create the one virtual machines. So inside this virtual machine, we have to connect our AKS cluster. So first we have to create the jump box, go to create. You have to search virtual machines. Go to create and Azure virtual machines. So you have to select subscription which subscription you have to use in the production environment you have multiple subscription so which subscription is assigned for your project so you have to choose those one so right now we have only free tires so I have to choose the free tire now select the resource group so I am using the same resource group what I have created for the Azure Kubernetes cluster so this is the resource group name so I am creating the virtual machine on the same resource group and give the name of your virtual machines so I am giving this virtual machine as a jump box so with this the use of jump box I have to create the I have to connect our Kubernetes cluster so I have to choose the region so I am choosing the West Europe region I have to skip this ability though security type I am choosing the standard which uh, image we have to use I am using the Ubuntu, Ubuntu OS image so our virtual machines created and they are using the Ubuntu server so this jump box is a Ubuntu server and on this we have to connect our Kubernetes cluster we have to select the size of the virtual machines so I am choosing the lowest size so that the cost will be less we will get the bill very less. if you go higher the cpu and memory then you have to pay extra like you can see it here the cost per month is 83 dollar 49 dollar 8 dollar if you are using the one cpu and one may one gb ram then you have to pay very less amount 8 dollar only per month if you choose the 2 CPU and 8 GB of RAM then you have to pay $83. If you choose 1 GB, 1 CPU and 3.5 GB of RAM then you have to pay $49. So I am going to select this uh, general purpose DS1 V2 for this jump box. So it's a sufficient for our, uh, our lab. So I am choosing this one general purpose 1.3.5. Select now which authentication type you have to choose either ssh public key or password so i am using choosing the password and username is elvis password you have to select password So we have to allow this port 22 because this Linux machine will only expose over the 22 port number. If you are using Windows machine then you have to enable 3389 port number is a RDP port number. So if you not allowed if you select none then you can't able to access this uh, virtual machines. So, so make sure you have to open this port number 22. So it is the SSS 22 then you can able to access this virtual machines now you have to select the disk so which disk uh, which OS disk you have to use either premium standard or SDD or, or premium SSD so as per if you select the premium SDD the pricing will be too high so I am using the standard SSD because it's just the uh, virtual machine we don't need the uh, higher speed over the virtual machines so we have to select standard SSD 
and encryption type and all the thing we have to keep same as it is no need to change anything it's optional if you choose premium then no issue but i have to choose ssd go to networking so we are using the default network we are not create a vnet and existing vnet and existing subnet so we have to keep same as it is and it will create the uh, microsoft create the default virtual network default subnet default public ip and uh, security group is basic public inbound ports so we have to keep same as it is no need to do change anything here so just keep as it is and go to next management next management tab and here we can also do the same setting no need to change anything then go to advance in the advanced time also we have to choose we have to keep same as it is no need to change anything next tag so as you as we said earlier we have to specify which team they are using this virtual machine so which team they are using this cluster so we have to just tagging the virtual machine so that we can uh, verify which team they are using this virtual machine so which team so now review and create So validation has been passed now I am going to create the virtual machines so it is initially initializing the deployment and we have to wait for one and two minutes then the virtual machine will be created now check the status of virtual machines go to virtual machines tab so it is creating so it is creating virtual network it is created virtual network public ip network security group jump box is created so deployment is in progress we have to wait for a few minutes so your deployment is complete we have to refresh and find if any virtual machine is created so we have to go to the source now we can see it here our virtual machine is running and uh, we are getting the public ip of these virtual machines and we can see which operating system they are using what are the size what are the public ip which virtual network they have connected what are the locations status resource group all the details we can show it here so this is below are the details about what are the size how many virtual cpu and ram assigned for this virtual machines so now i'm going to connect via the public ip so we have to copy and we have already installed the putty so we have to connect this uh, virtual machine through the putty session and paste the public ip <coughs> accept so which username we have uh, we are, we are using at the time of creation so we have to use the same credential 
So I have using Elvis. So you have to keep remember your ID and password, which ID and password you are using at the time of VM creation. It's so not is login. Okay. So this is our AKS cluster and this is our virtual machines, our jump box. This is our jump box. So now I want to connect this AKS cluster from this jump box. So how do we connect? So we have to install the cube CTL plugins. Then we can connect our AKS cluster to the, from this jump box. So once we install the cube CTL plugin, then we have to run this command cube CTL get node. So as you all aware about this cube CTL, so cube CTL is a plugin which is responsible to uh, which is helpful to connect our AKS cluster from your remote machine so this is our remote machine this is your local PC or you can say this is your local laptop <coughs> where you want to connect your AKS cluster so you have to first install the kubectl plugins in your uh, virtual machines or in your jump box so now I'm going to install the kubectl So this is the command to install the cube CTL plugins over the virtual machine. So there we have to run this uh, command to our virtual machines. Now if you go here cube CTL. So cube CTL is not found. So you have to connect kubectl. So before to install the kubectl, so you have to install the Azure plugin also. Azure CLI. So this plugin we have to install Azure CLI on the virtual machine. Then you can uh, run the AJ command. So I have to go to AKS cluster. So in the AK, I am, I am go to AKS cluster. So this option connect. So when you click on connect, so they said you have to run this uh, command over this uh, virtual machines. Like we can connect through the cloud cell or we can connect through the Azure CLI. So for Azure CLI, we have to install the Azure CLI over the virtual machines. Once you install the Azure CLI, you have to run this command as AZ account set and your subscription name. So let's try what they say. So when I run the AZ account set, it says your Azure CLI is not installed. So first you have to install the Azure CLI. So I have to install the Azure CLI with this command. I 
I will share you this uh, command. I I will share this the command also. So this is the command to install the Azure CLI. I have to run this command as you say like so I am now installing the as you say like plugins over this jump box No check if so before to run this command <coughs> now AG as you say live plugin has been installed. So before to run this command AG account set first we have to authorize yourself so that this virtual machine uh, authorize your uh, credential like which user are trying to connect this cluster so you have to run this AG login and you have to authorize yourself with this uh, command you have to put the code and this is the user <clears throat> so you have to select this user continue <clears throat> now you have to authorize yourself and you can get this output when you have to this, uh, do the AG login once you get this output then you can authorize yourself now you have to run this command AG connect this AG account set you have to copy and you have to run it here <coughs> 
now again you have to run this command ag aks get credential your resource group and your cluster name so with this two command you have to connect your aks cluster now it's merged and you have to check but cube kettle is not here so you are not get the output so you have to install the cube ctl command so we have to go to here and this is the command to install the cube ctl plugins copy this command So there is three commands we have to run to install the kubectl we have to give permission now we have to move into this folder user local bin kubectl so now we have to validate now kubectl is installed and i have already connected the cluster now we have to check the status of cluster so you can see it here this is the cluster which is running we have connected and this is the cluster name what we have we are trying to connect and we have to check the status of node kubectl get node so you can see it here we have we are connected our aks cluster through this jump box and before to for this is the first time configuration you have to first install the azure cli plugins and the kubectl plugins you have to install and then you have to do the ag login and you have to connect in this way kubectl get node hyphen o wide it will give the full details about your worker node what are the ip what are the os image which kernel version they are using what are the container run time so all the details will give in this zero byte command now i'm checking the what are the system generated pod is running over this cluster so we can see it here we have multiple pod is created which i have not created this pod is created when uh, it's the system generated pod so it's uh, matrix server cube proxy core dns oms agent so multiple pod is created by the microsoft this is responsible for the system generated pod so in this way uh, you can configure the jump box and you have to connect the cluster from this jump box so this is the small architecture like how do we connect the aks cluster through the jump box or your local machines so you should install this cube city plugins and azure cli so first you have to install the azure cli plugins second you have to install the kubectl plugin third you have to run as you say as you a uh, ag login and fourth you have to authenticate with yourself with your id and you have to connect uh, you have to run this bot command So this is five steps you have to follow to connect your uh, Kubernetes cluster. So this is the five steps you have to follow. So you have to install the Azure CNI plugins over your local machine. You have to run. You have to install kubectl plugins. You have to do AG login. Then you have to. Um, run this AG account set and AG AKS get credential. Then after that you can connect your AKS cluster to your local machines. So 
yeah we have done this session and thank you so much thanks for watching my session yeah thank you